Chat, so chapter four now. Lady Ashbury's invitation. Dear Dr. Reed, I hope this letter will quickly find you, for I need to speak to you as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in the West End, and I'm convinced we are all now in danger. The God of Primen has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights they have been actively searching, killing any econ they can locate. Lord Redgrave, chairman of the Askelon Club, recently contacted me. He wishes to meet you immediately. Please come to my mansion any night that suits you. We must discuss all of this. With this letter, you will find an official pass that will allow you to go through any barricade or quarantine checkpoint through the city. Ashburn. Okay. It's locked. It locked was. I should have gone here before. Have known that. Jonathan, old chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Hmm? Tell me more about the violence. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. Hmm. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the Lady's Mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll? Where are they? There are only a few of us. Most others would not speak to you. Mm. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. 
What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. Yes, Jonathan. Can I help you? Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. Okay, so he has no normal... Okay, we have a lot of fatigue. Migraine. Freud. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Yeah. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Hilton. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yep. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. In Not fact, anymore. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Okay, you actually have stuff now. Good. A wall of two bullets, oh yeah. Uh, do we have anything to get rid of now? Good evening, boost. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Mm, we're still missing a... Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, and if it's, it's fine. Hmm. What do we have down here? There we go. 
Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I, I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. But we survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. Okay. Fuck the war, right? I fuck them all. Fuck the war. Fuck them all. <laughs> That's a new guy. Okay. Hello there, fellas. Have a look. Talk to you, buddy. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. <laughs> oh. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier, too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite <laughs> my claustrophobia. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital, but I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Hmm? Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Okay. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Hmm. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Hmm. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. Oh, the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. Hmm. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. Shameful thoughts. Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, but when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about... <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. Yeah, I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I thought about killing Newton. Killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. 
tell me about your true feelings for Newton. Well, I already know about not this. ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Okay. A hint for that one. Are you concerned about the conditions here in London? Not really. Sick people, men in arms, fighting every night. I already faced all this during the war. Hey. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Let's see, now he's recovering. We go in here? So. Little. A little chat with Newton then. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed of the Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance? Dr. Reed. So it's you who saved my friend Oswald. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. Mm-hmm. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. <laughs> it's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir, the stench of death everywhere, your mates lying bleeding in the mud, just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No, we met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France too. I served as a field surgeon, but it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Twice? Hey. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Well, I think he already did. Oh, here we open up all of them. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. This is, um, hmm. Mm. Enjoy your love and enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir, but it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. 
Mm-hmm. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. <clears throat> Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. We actually have <clears throat> something to say about that part. You and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah, it was last summer. A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. And surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see? Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. Hey. Are you concerned about the living conditions in the city? Of course I am. I'll be stuck here Should for as long as Oswald refuses to go to hospital. And... Unfortunately, it seems the violence is rising. What kind of violence? I believe people have armed themselves and started to attack those that show signs of contagion. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Cold oh. up. You want me to one of those? Um, let's see if we have. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Yep. Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love for you is genuine. I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots' eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. <laughs> um, okay. That means goodbye, you. Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Actually, did I have one for cold on me? Oh, I did. Where did he go now? Down there now. Get over here. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You doing your rounds as usual? Yep. Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I've got that fear in London now. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You were wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Oh, wait. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. I forgot to check. You're the... doing your rounds as usual. Okay, so you are all done. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. These two are. Yep. And do we have. Yep. Um... Needs cold. Big. Big. We should be grateful for this lap. Find them all. The Pembroke is 
so lucky to have Dr. Reed with us. I met him in New York. Oh, the pain. It's there again. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. So, surgery huh. won't help him. You know you can't hide forever. One day you'll have to face your loved ones. Until that day, you have no chance of real recovery. My friends all died in the trenches. It's shameful enough to be alive for these stupid scars. I don't want my children to see me like this. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. <clears throat> okay. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Hmm. You told me before you don't want your children to see you like this. Do you have any other family? My sister Agatha has raised me nippers since their mother died. Don't want them to look at me like this. How could children despise their father injured in the war? What do you think? They saw me once. My poor angels left the room crying. They keep on having nightmares every week, my sister told me. Your sister's not a child. I'm sure she has nothing but respect for a wounded soldier, and you are her brother. You don't know my sister, Agatha. She may be young, but she's all discipline and morality. If she ever found out what really happened... She doesn't have to know. She's a sly one, my sister. <laughs> one day she'll find out the truth and knock seven bells out of me. Nah. I'm better off here. Okay, so that's goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. All damn. Down with Mr. Elwood. There again. Ish. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Down with all. Okay. Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No, I don't feel well, actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. And... We Good evening, Mr. You. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Your mother won't let you down, Mortimer. Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. 
Okay, it's the depression. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Stay. Yeah, I'm not. How can we be sure we're making a difference? Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Hmm. Huh. I didn't have something about him. Okay. Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Okay. Where is the... Hmm. Missing a nurse. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to no. see you again. Ray Plunder. Uh... Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company. Even if the quiet can be appreciated. Stealer stuff, so... Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. Hmm. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Uh, no. Where is she at? Missing. Where is yeah. we got to give him the medication? That derp. <laughs> there she is. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. We are done with all. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Mm hmm. Not under my watch, nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. We have to give him the medication. There again. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. Here you go. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Okay. We are done with all here now, right? Yes. But I need to go there. But here. So we need one, two, three. Three more fatigue. Okay. And we need one migraine of it and two cold. We need to make two cold. Only one migraine. Okay. 
Okay. Do, 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 do. Come on. Uh, let's see. Do, do. Do, do. Just make some extra. So much ergotone in it. Oh, uh, let's see. Need two good handle parts. Could sleep in bed and get another one from uh, here, but be tiny good ones. Good trigger parts, a lot of them. Let's see um, anything we can recycle into anything interesting for us. Cycle. That's actually good stuff. Okay, get some of that. Let's go. Let's see what. Okay. You go up to Whitechapel and cure some people. And uh, can see if. Where is she at now? This is the Huh. I think I go up to Whitechapel and go back this way. Actually, let's go and see if we can or to go there. Question if I'm gonna have to fight these. Hey, buddy. Oh. 
kämpfen. Oh, shit, what the heck? Oh, this is a new one. Oh. Come on, why isn't my... Damn. Shit, she does... Does so much damage, man. Oh, 
it does not. That blood. Good job, Yumi. Let's take that hit to him. Oh, shit. The first hit him. Missed me. Okay. Pain in the butt. Damn, the way higher, so much higher level now. would be it uh... question is where they all will be at now sir no civilians allowed I'll send you back in a fucking grave <laughs> Oh, shit. What the? Can I have anywhere to? Somebody is screaming like a pig. Oh shit. Holy crap, that damage to me. What? You usually can uh, hit him twice before um, sucking blood. Oh shit. There's the wrong thing there. Oh my. Oh, I pressed the wrong freaking thing. Ugh.
God damn it. Damn it! the beastie up here somewhere uh -huh. to be up here somewhere. Why are you here? Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Okay. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence. And I need sadness. You should not be by yourself. Grief can be a terrible trial. And it's even worse when you're alone. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiaoshun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. 
I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Hello, Lavos. The unnamed. Uh, untamed, even. Uh, I eaten one person only. And that was before I knew what it did, really. And after that, I haven't. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna plan on doing it. Don't see any reason to yet. Uh, okay, we all done there. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Oh, that was the first one, Clay Cox. <laughs> Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? She will rest in the cemetery forever. And I'll spend eternity hoping that she can forgive me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Shaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. How do you feel? Physically speaking, I mean. I'm as well as can <laughs> okay. be expected, Doctor. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? My only relief is that my Matthew died before seeing the madness that approaches. I'm afraid we won't survive this trial, Dr. Reed. Goodbye for now. So Are you playing on hard mode days. too, or...? Playing the normal setting, so to say. I mean, hard mode as I'm playing on this, I don't feel it's that difficult. First, things hurt if they do hit you. <laughs> Dear, dear sister. Oh, she even in the grave. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going with the uh, hard mode. But then, kind of like games being a bit difficult. <laughs> And let's see if we can have a little chat with. Are they back these guys or? What the 
Okay. Uh, hmm. Now we trigger. You cannot win this. I can. I'm gonna try, buddy. Oh, come on. What the heck, that range that stupid thing has, man? Jesus. <laughs> hmm. Money for sure, they put. Use the pistol or shotgun for that time. One. Uh, wait. Going again. Okay, so you have any red something? Oh, come on. Look at it. Actually, hit me. What the heck did that? Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, that's the first shot that he got into me to kill me then. Damn it. Fire is, does so much damage. Thing. Now that they are so much higher level than you, me. Maybe I should. Um... Okay, so instantly hits me. Okay, that's some old shit. Nice, Mr. Jim. Okay, so now he's down again. Trying to...
Blood. Okay. Try this again. Damn, this guy was quick as heck, man. Can I think? You London vampires are so weak. Oh. What the heck, man? Okay. This is gotcha. Created a shadow himself, huh? See if it comes up. Game.
Ah, finally, that was a rough one. Jesus. Gonna fight freaking vampires now, Tim. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. It cannot be safe for a blind man to I'm live here alone. Linear. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, doctor, come on in. Tell me. Yeah, that was an interesting fight. Uh, that was the first the econ I ever met, so interesting. Okay, first we go around and plunder the place. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Um, a gentleman who's uh, taking your stuff. We didn't have much stuff to take. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. I would say a bit of both. So okay, what sir. is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and... First, and they wouldn't let me in because I didn't have enough to like he let him me in, so it's like okay. Hmm. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe <laughs> she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say, she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Mm -hmm. We know about that. So, Mason, you are the creative one in the Swanborough business, are you not? Yes, I am. I am the one who invented and improved the family recipe. And you do it all by yourself, blind and isolated in this laboratory. My eyes may be useless, but my brain is still sharp. Once a chemist, always a chemist. <laughs> okay, so we need um, one more hint. Is your sister using you and your skills for her own profit? I've lost my sight, not my wits. Loretta couldn't manipulate me in a million years. Are you sure about that? You clearly depend on her. Let me be perfectly clear. 
I came up with the idea of the Swanborough Cordial. Loretta needs me more than I need her. Yeah, but you need... Oh. Check up on it in a second. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick and my lock is solid. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. Hmm. And it actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. There is another one then. I found another page of the diary, Mr. Swanborough. This diary is still not complete. The man who wrote it claims he is a member of some scholarly brotherhood called the St. Paul's Stole. Really? I've heard of them. Very capable scientists. Perhaps the man who wrote this really found a cure. I would need more pages to figure it out, but it's as promising as it is intriguing. That's all the pages I have. Mm -hmm. Mason, why would you waste your skill and knowledge on crafting snake oil and fake drugs? But this is my only opportunity to continue practicing my art. By giving false hope to desperate people? They all see me as disabled and useless. I'm sick of their pity. Hmm. To accept what has happened to us and what we have become is a difficult process. I'm sorry for what you've had to endure. You'll not get my respect through cheap compassion, Doctor. Speak to me like I'm a normal human being. That's all I ask. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Uh, what is it called? Uh, you have to have a uh, mesmerized level three to be able to get in, or that's why I had to get to be able to uh, talk let, and make him uh, let me in. This part of town, for that, he won't let you in. Plus, there is some other way to do it, but that's the only option I had. The mesmerized me, level three. How do you see the world these days? And it took me a while before I got it, so. Okay. And we are gonna go to Whitechapel and cure some people. We'll give them some medicine at least. I couldn't. Oh shit. Oh. Ah. 
Can we just buy this guy? Feel like fighting. You won't follow me in here, I think. So let's see. This guy has a cold again, right? Good evening, Mr. Nithicott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It have one more How is to the do sanitary with situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I imagine we are all part of some nightmare without beginning nor ending. If only the dreamer could awake. Do you need medical attention, sir? Mr. It may Poetry? Be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. Mm. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. I'll leave you alone, sir. Okay. Is she around here or come in? No. Just wondering with the flower that I have. Hello again, miss. I won't say anything though. Tell me, Camellia, how are things now the dispensary is closed? <laughs> like why? Have the discussion when we know she won't say very well. Anything. Goodbye then. Okay. Clayton. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? How are conditions in Whitechapel at the moment? I always thought it was my role to reveal what really happens in these forgotten parts of London. And you're not sure anymore? Emptied coffins, cannibalism, walking dead. I'm trying to report the truth about what's going on, but no one believes it anymore. Yeah, I have none of those. Goodbye, him. Mr. Darby. I don't get it. Farewell. I wonder when that's gonna come then. Tina. Hello, Friar. Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. It's Father Whitaker, mm. my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? <laughs> Tell me the reason why you despise Joseph Larrabee so much, Tobias. A faithless shepherd is the worst criminal. For he leads his flock to the abyss by disregarding the right path. God smote this man, for he doubted. I only met him briefly, but he seemed a dedicated man who tried to provide guidance. Do you not believe in punishment, my son? I am not talking about the law of men. I am talking about judgment from heaven. I believe that we are, as men, our own judges, juries, and executioners. Armageddon is upon us, Dr. Reed. <laughs> the final battle mm, where every soul yeah, we will won't be convert. Waved. I'm afraid yours will burn for a long time. Mm -mm. Don't you fear getting sick yourself? Faith gives me all I need, my son. If I must fall, then so be it. No doubt your faith will prevail, but let me give you some extra protection against the devil's work. Medicine. Blessed be your generosity, my son. I have had enough for tonight. Oh. Goodbye. All right. Bubbles. Got to... Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. It's Father Whitaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? Don't you hear the trumpets? The apocalypse is upon us, Dr. Reed. <laughs> the final battle. I have had enough for tonight. 
goodbye. Okay. Uh, where did she go? Hello, Christina. Good evening, Christina. Thank you. Have... Change your mind, Mr. Reed. Oh. Thank you. Oh, more hints needed. How are the conditions in Whitechapel these days? When I think about all the people who died trying to reach England, it seems we escaped a war just to die on foreign shores, hated by all. Okay. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Okay. Hey. Let's see if the vendor here has something good for us. They both have fatigue, okay. Let's you fix that. What do you want this time? Hmm. How is the sanitary situation in Whitechapel? I'm not easily scared, but crazy killers and armed patrols are lurking about. My son's right about this place. Yep. Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your medicines for others. Nope. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Cheap price. Good quality. Okay, buddy. But it has. I don't get why does he have to start loading all of a sudden? So it's only the third time it happens the whole all hours, but still odd. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Um there is all done. Do you need help, sir? To be honest, I'd prefer you take a look at my stuff. <laughs> I'd rather be rich and sick than the contrary. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please, take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? <laughs> don't take it personally, but charity usually comes at a price. Human nature being what it is. How are the current conditions in Whitechapel? When there's more people outside at night than during the day, then you've got to start to worry. Right then. Show me what you have. Come on. Uh, you have everything I want, I see. Holy shit, that was expensive. Start selling some of these. Okay, and how is the kid? Let's quickly go in the hideout. See if we can upgrade our weapons. Really quick. Go oh, and go the rest the area. Don't have to take a nap and level up. Here. Oop. Okay, weapons.
Holy crap, six of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm missing one. Ah, it. And these we need good trigger parts. Okay, one, two more. Materials. Oh. Uh, let's see, do we need to make any? We got the uh, migraine and cold. That would be helpful. 